Um, wow, this is, I guess, like, before we actually launch in, this must be some scripting technique. There's little fish traps amongst the reeds here. I'm guessing they will disappear in a second. Aha! Oh my goodness, it's fractal! I almost didn't recognize it. This is the smallest fractal ever. Apparently, T. West, the, the uh, individual working on all this, he said it was very hard to make this. But he's actually got it down. We've got Macy James here in the yellow playing as the Teutons, which is actually his his opponent's favorite Civ. And then we got the Cumans for Emu. Now, good luck Emu trying to build a second TC somewhere. And Emu trying to steal the elephant here, which is pretty common in a normal fractal game. What is happening right now? Oh my god, the elephant's going back. Both scouts are dead. Uh-oh, Macy. 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 Macy's gonna get both elephants. What just happened? What just happened? That was crazy. Okay, so I feel like we even need like a replay of everything that just transpired because there's only one elephant per player. I feel like we need to go back because what I didn't notice, what I wasn't talking about, was that as Emu was trying to steal this elephant, Macy was also stealing this one. So let's just let's just rewatch it here for a second. It was really important for Emu to somehow snag this, but the block, I guess, was just enough from Masty. And yeah, Masty then was focusing on not losing Nisville, and then had to focus on not losing Nisville. Masty down a game here, and uh, things are going to get tasty here. So, what does Emu do now? Emu down an elephant. Um, Might even be down water buffalo, I don't know. I would say in a normal fractal game, the big thing about this map is cutting to the outside. So you can cut to the outside by cutting one single like reed square, which is just 50 wood. And then this is so sick, dude. T West is such a legend. Check this out. Not only can you dock through the outside, the backside, but you can dock block it just like a normal fractal game. It's the perfect spacing still. There's not near as many fish back here because the map is much smaller, but yeah, in theory, you could chop, you could dock, and you could fish. Emu running over here, gonna kill off those zebras. We'll see if this villager actually escapes, though. I feel like Masty's onto him here. And... Oh! <laughs> okay, well, Emu proves me wrong there. <laughs> And Emu uh, just quick walls there. And now is going to try and trap Masty here. Uh-oh, Masty's got to be careful. Masty has a lead, at least in terms of the amount of food underneath the TC. But that has been Emu's thing. Like, Emu's strategy so far in these games has been walling up and getting a lot more map control. I love, like, we're using big trees for this show match. Oh, God. The tree has been chopped. And, well, nothing happened. Okay. 11 villagers for Masty. Um, am I correct on the score, guys? Why am I having such a big brain fart all of a sudden? I think it's correct. Yeah, this is, this is game four. You also could chop to the outside here if you really want to. Where there's some extra resources. I feel like a tower here would be sick because it controls all that stone but you also still have like the stone and gold on the back which again is always on fractal again i just have to reiterate just how good the map scripting is to make this so close to the original version of the map if you ever see t west around make sure you thank the guy um i think he he streamed a little bit of his scripting for this uh don't know if he's made any videos on it but uh I think I'm going to tell him he should make a video on how he does it because people might be curious on that. Hmm. Okay, villager's out. Where will the villager go? Now, they don't have scouting on... Oh, they do have scouting on if there's deep fish or not. Never mind. And there's no deep fish. I think Emu's walking this way to try and... Uh... Like, maybe stop the opponent from docking by building a palisade behind, but wouldn't you have to palisade, like, the whole shoreline now? <laughs> that would be a... That would be a sight. 
That would be a sight. It's, it's just palisading the, the whole way around. How much wood is actually on this map? Okay, there's still 12,000. Wow. I guess there's some really chonky trees in the middle. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay, Emu's been found. Emu quick walls. Okay. All right, but that's that's a good wall piece because it stops Macy from going through. Again, big concern here for Emu is going to be not having those elephants. And no fish yet, but there is a dock over here. I don't love the dock position, but maybe feels pretty comfortable the opponent can't dock as well. The max pop. The max pop is 3,000. Can you? Could you even fit 3,000 units on this map? I don't know. But no, I'm kidding. Uh, the max population is 200 per player. So 400. Uh, but we've never seen a game to go max pop. <laughs> <laughs> so dude a cannon galleon would go so hard on this map oh that's so true that would make me so happy whoa 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 lord rochester donated four hundred dollars said love the content with just a just what what thank you dude thank you man salutes please uh that goes towards regicide rumble cost that's crazy I appreciate that, man. We had people on YouTube even donating to the link below the Regicide Rumble announcement to go towards the cost. Thank you. Salute to you. Major Herpes. Thing. <laughs> I screw you for making me say your name, but thank you for the $11 dono. Thank you, Lecker Feetson, for the 12 Again, it's all going towards Regicide Rumble next week. Thank you. I like... the These guys thought they were being so generous, which they were. But, like, donating to a streamer after someone has donated $400, I always wonder if they're like, man, I got the timing really wrong there. <laughs> uh, I appreciate it nonetheless. Thank you. All right. Tower here for Maisty. Um, I noticed that Emu has escaped to the outside. I don't know what Maisty, what Emu is going to do with the outside. Emu is, like, no food, but is fishing. So there's that. But Maisty is using the wall tower technique that Emu used against him in the previous game. So. Hmm. Emu can't go up. Oh, man. Oh, this is... It is unfortunate when a game kind of gets ended because an elephant steal. And a normal fractal, that's kind of how it plays out. I'm hoping that right now, Emu's saving grace could be the fish. Because if these fishing ships could eventually be fishing ships on fish traps, that's something that Maisty has not done at all. Maisty could actually notice that Emu's on the outside. And from there, actually chop through and try and tower that area as well. So. Sash versus T90 don't have the disposable income to contribute, but I will... Watch all the ads with a lot of attention. I hope you appreciate that. Guys, you don't have to watch the ads with a lot of attention. I don't care what you do if you see an ad. You don't have to intently stare at it without blinking. <laughs> um, no, it's all good, Stashfoot. I mean, hey, appreciate... Just obviously watching, supporting the content still does a lot. Please take care of yourselves first before you contribute to any of my crazy events or anything, all right? Flips is I'm only here for the ads. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. So this is a cute little tower between the reeds. It won't fully range the gold though. And Emu is up. Emu, I think, is still going to have a an issue fishing properly. And actually, can Masty see? That's so funny. Masty can actually see the fishing ships. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, so funny. On the topic of ads, by the way, my dad, who doesn't really understand the whole streaming thing um, that much. Obviously, he understands it way more now because I've been doing this for a long time. But he still, you know, doesn't, doesn't, it's not a thing for him. He never, ever played video games in his entire life. 
So, you know, naturally his son talking about video games, much less like a 20 plus year old video game, uh, is something that's difficult for him to wrap his head around. He told me one time that he clicks every single ad that plays on my YouTube. And I was like, dad, you don't have to sit there clicking the links. He was like, but it helps you, right? And I was like, well, yeah, but it's probably like the way these ads work is it's probably like 0.01 cent per click or I don't know, half a cent per click. And he was like, well, you know, if it helps you, you know, it's free money, you know, <laughs> which is like so it's actually so amazing. I'm, I'm very lucky, but I it's still I, I, I asked him last time. He's like, yeah, I still click him sometimes. I'm like, stop it, dude. It's just dad. Just stop. That's probably better than any of the browsing he's doing on Facebook, honestly. So that's fine. Whatever. At least, you know, helps cover the cost for Regicide Rumble. It's worth it. Okay. We got a tower here for Masty. Um, Relic is kind of blocking the side of that tower. So it blocks the buildage. You can fit more villagers inside of a Teuton Tower, though, which makes the Teuton Tower rush very strong. Um... So that should lead to Macy's Tower being stronger. Now, the absolute key to victory right now for Emu, because this looks horrible, right? The key is fishing ships on fish traps. I'm telling you right now. So that needs to come first. I'm disappointed by the lack of a lumber camp. I think a lumber camp here. I know there's not a ton of wood here on these reeds, but it's still something. Yes. Wood efficiency is just simply a problem. T90, if you click once per second, 0.5 cents per click is $18 per hour. Thank you for the for the math. I'll pass it along to him. I don't think it works that way. I, I don't think you can have, like, spam click the same thing. The point is, is, like, when it comes to YouTube, it's just all about, like, it's a very minuscule amount that adds up if you, if you have enough people watching, so. Hmm. Masty, couple farms down, cheap with Tutans, that's always nice. Has collected 500 more resources. Really just got the lead because of uh, getting to Feudal Age so much faster after the elephant fiasco. The towers do have fletching here for Masty. Those towers should be pretty strong. I think he's a little distracted right now. Emu's going to actually pull away the weak villager and actually kill a villager here. That's. Very nice job from Emu. I think Masty was distracted with the tower over here. Emu again. Tries to save the Vill. Saves it, but so does Masty. And now trying to batter this tower down, and villagers are going to come to hop into this tower, and these villagers need to run now. Yikes. Well, we nerfed the towers, and the towers still seem like a pretty good freaking play. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the main the main reason towers are really strong here compared to archers because archers actually outrange the towers is because there's not space to build your buildings man like with all the golds and stones in the middle how are you supposed to build a barracks and archery range a blacksmith a market it's really tricky I think emu is, is pretty much forced into battering down these towers you've got no choice you have to try it and hold on hold on hold on hold on is it working right now feudal age tower is very weak against villagers this tower here is firing some arrows but i'm not sure it's enough the villagers for yellow are trapped but also this is kind of good for yellow because purple's villagers are getting hit as well and also, you look back here, that is nine farmers right now for Macy James. Really smooth farming eco. Ooh, ooh. I forgot about this, guys. So the Cumans can make a siege workshop and also make rams in Feudal Age. This won't be a surprise because um, Macy's going to be able to see it. Emu could have built a lumber camp here or like here so long ago. This reminds me of like, you know how Loey the Legends always chop the straggler trees and are really inefficient in the early game? Well, it's that 
multiplied by 10 here for Emu because he just really hasn't built a proper one. I don't even remember him having one, but he probably did. There we go! Finally, because these towers don't range that wood. No wonder you can't afford anything. You don't have good wood income, man. Macy's on the way to Castlage. That's a problem. I think having the sides, the sizes of uh, buildings would be a lot of work. And I wouldn't like that because it's not true to the natural spirit of the game. Towers, we already adjusted the range. I don't like towers costing population space. In general, towers aren't always a problem. Now, if you've watched the last like 20 to 30 of them, some games have towers, some games you lose with towers, you win with towers, you don't need towers. But I have always found that once players find something that works for them, until they are proven otherwise, they are going to continue to do that thing. And oh my god, look at this! Macy's gonna try and shoot down this TC! Nine villagers in this tower. Eight villagers in this tower. Ten villagers in this tower. Look at this. <laughs> 30 of the 36 eco that's out there. Into these towers. Shooting the extra arrows onto the TC. That's that's actually insane. Do you get any inherent bonuses from for towers from just being in castle with students? I guess free murder holes. And then also the towers... All towers just get more HP. Not Tutans, but all Sims. But there's no, like, extra arrows that come with Castle Age or anything. This TC is actually going to be shot down. This is a crazy move. <laughs> Alright. So, all the villagers that are inside of this TC... <laughs> they're going to have to eject. He's going to panic. He's already sinking so much wood into repairing the rams. This is funny. Yeah, I'm anyone else very jealous that Masty and Emu are brothers right now and they just get the flex in each other's faces. I don't really game with my bro too much. Uh, we have done some challenges, which there's actually videos of uh, versus Team 90 Bro, which was always a good time. But these guys get an audience for this, you know? It's super cool. Oh no. There's gonna be Siege. Siege is cheating! The Rams actually worked pretty well. Like, if Emu would have had this Ram like three or four minutes ago, this would be a completely different game, possibly. But, just never had the wood for anything. And once the Mega now comes out, the Ram's gonna get battered down, then the TC gets battered down, and I think we have the end of the smallest fract uh, fractal. Sorry. GG's called series between these two two twins. 2-2. Two, two. Looking good. This is fun. It's been back and forth. Definitely felt like the early game laming definitely played its role. I think, I think Emu was a little held back by just lack of food. Um, and then Masty used the forward walls as well as the faster feudal age to just get a really good position. I mean... I don't, I don't know how I can suggest anyone really win there if they're five minutes later to Feudal Age. That's just, that's just really tough to do. Uh, th th that is what it is. Again, I hope people appreciate what the map looked like at the very least, even though it wasn't the most competitive game in and of itself. This map, compared to the original Fractal map, is so spot on. Like, the, the areas to expand on the side with the additional relic. Guys, I forgot about this! You remember that, like, opening kind of in the side of the reeds towards the middle where there's the extra stone and gold in a normal game people build tcs there but here that's even there of course the cutting to the outside potential the dock blocking potential all that stuff was just sick so yeah gg